Hello everyone. Um, going back from our last videos, we're now in the position, I think, really, we can start focusing on these recording these guitars. Over the next couple of days, I want to um, track guitars and do a multi-track. I want not just to record one guitar part. I want to do um, how to build rhythm lines using multi-tracking, panning, various things. But there's probably one more thing we ought to look at before we get on to um, live tracking, and that's drums, because in some of the last lessons we have looked at how to import samples from um, media bay and add in a kick drum and stuff and hi-hats and we've also looked at groove agent se because we still got it running in our project here but let's let's delete this out so remove select tracks so i've just right clicked on that um track and i'm just going to remove selected tracks it's gone because we may as well take it from scratch we'll do it really quickly but if you if I go too quickly, go back to the um, earlier videos where we looked at importing, um, making instrument lanes and importing MIDI tracks. Okay, so the ways of recording drums that we're going to look at, today we're going to look at importing drum loops and samples which we looked at, we'll really briefly on that. We're also going to look at using Groove Agent, which is a VST drum instrument, which is built into Cubase. I have got some others I can show you, third party ones as well, but we're just concentrating on Cubase at the moment. Other ways you might want to record, which we, we can do, I've got an electronic drum kit here, I've got an Alesis kit, which has got a USB out. So what we could do is load the drum kit inside Cubase and actually play along live using the electronic drum kit, which would be good fun. And then the other thing I'm really keen to do at some point is multi-mic and acoustic kit. So we're going to take an acoustic kit and we're going to use overheads, we're going to get a kick drum mic, snare mic, hi-hat mics, mic up the toms, and then record it live and look at issues which can um, come about from re live, recording live drums such as um, phase issues, um, level issues and the beauty of that as well we can look at multi-miking and how to set up a sound card with multi-inputs which would be that would be good fun. Okay but if we go back from today's lesson we're going to do a really short lesson on importing samples for drums because what I want to do when we're tracking guitars is the intro to my um, YouTube channel it's a very short intro, but I want to, do, over the next couple of days, record a composition to that. So we'll, And then we can look at adding audio into video files as well. So it will incorporate loads of different parts of Cubase, which would be great. Okay, so first way you could do it is, obviously, you remember you've got devices. Well, we've now looked at a few ways of getting to Media Bay. We, had, we know we can get to it there now, so using the zone, zonal system. We know we can get up to Media and then media bay, sorry, Ooh, media bay that way, or we can do the F5. And I know I'm I'm looking for drums now, so... And you know what? You know we've looked at these, these information, how we can get MIDI files and audio files. I don't want MIDI files now, although some of the MIDI files are fantastic. I'm just looking at drums at the moment as audio files, so let's just click off there. Now, I can click on one of these... play the beat we want and that if I double click it'll import into the project but remember one thing when in media bay when using samples or audio files put the beta line on so whatever BPM you're working on if you're working at 120 BPM or 110 90 60 doesn't matter beta line will work so it's a line beats to project is the full name for it and then that will make sure whatever you play will be in time with your project, which is really important. Not so important with um, MIDI, because MIDI will set itself to the project, but certainly audio files. Let's just see, oh, well, any of these will work. Sometimes, you know the ones that give a tempo, so here, these are definite loops then, so you know when you play that, it'll be some kind of loop. Quite loud loop, so if I just turn the previewer down slightly, change the volume okay that's a reasonable drum loop so if I just double click on here let's just see if he's made it to the project and it has so remember G and H to H to expand out G to minimize oh and it's great because it's a four bar loop so highlight and remember the other quick shortcut we looked at P P means it will set the locators so when I've got it on a, a loop Hopefully it's going to come back around. There we go. And because it's a drum loop, it's a seamless transaction between the start and fin um, the end, so it's a seamless loop. Um, okay, 
really quick, really useful things. Control D, duplicates. Control Z, undoes. And if you wanted just a section of the drum loop, right click, get the scissors, and you can actually cut the section you want out and then do the duplication. Okay, that's covered samples. What I want to look at though now, so I'm going to right click, remove selected track, and then yes, I'm not worried about that going. Okay, I want to see here we've still got the reverb channel up. So we're going to, whatever we use now, we're going to add a little bit of reverb as well. So we're going to look at something in Cubase called Groove Agent, which is a fantastic drum VST instrument. So F11, remember F11 is a shortcut, brings up our instrument tracks. Or remember we can grab them from here as well and make an instrument track. So either or. So zones, but if you haven't, if you've got an earlier version of Cubase rather than Cubase 9, F11 is your key. And then you see the little plus sign. We've looked at this in earlier videos. We're going to make one count because we only want one instance of this drum at the moment. And there he is, Groove Agent SE. And then Add Track. Sometimes it takes a bit longer for MIDI instruments to load because a lot of information has got to load at one time. And this is what we've got. I'm going to spend a whole video on this at some point, but at the moment we're just going to get a drum beat inside Cubase, inside our project, so we can re it's just so we can track guitars rather than to a click, to a drum beat, because it gives it a bit more feel. So, if you see I clicked up here, this will give us an idea of all of the different kits inside Groove Agent at the moment, and you, Steinberg actually sell add-on kits for these, so you can make more kits i'm not even oh, i'm really not worried what the kit is now because it's only just for demonstration so let's go for an ambient kit I'm not sure how this is going to sound but now i've double clicked on there so i loaded my kit up i chose one from the search menu you can even search if you want to and now on my pads if you've got a midi keyboard or perhaps something like um the native instruments, trigger pads, or Ableton trigger pads, whatever pads you've got, you can actually play these as you go. Or perhaps an electronic drum kit, you could do the same. The other thing you might have is a pattern going along with these. Oh, we have. So sometimes I'll show you where you can get these if we haven't got them. But you see here, we're on the instrument at the moment. If I go just to pattern, Click on them, it'll actually play the drum loop, which is great. So I quite like that one. You can actually play from up there as well. So I'm going to get just get rid of that. Which one was it I liked? Sorry. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm going to drag that into my project folder. So here's my groove agent. Let me change it to drums. I'm simply going to drag him in and there he is the beauty of using MIDI and using it this way I can then if I highlight it press P so I'm going to loop that round now I can actually this is a really good tool inside um, Cubase and it's the drum editor you could in principle double click on it get the piano roll and as you can see you can see all of the parts of the drum there as it goes I much prefer let me just get minimize that down MIDI open drum editor H remember expands out and look we've actually got our kit here so we've got bass drum or kick drum side stick if I want to add it in snare drum so as this plays let me just minimize it down a bit if I wanted to now add in extra snares, so you can make something that's been made by someone else or by Steinberg and create your own drum out of it. And it's also a great way because the drummer never plays the same two bars and keeps it going throughout the song. It's a way you can make the drum kit develop, evolve the drum patterns. So you can add in loops. You, sorry, you can add in drum rolls. You could perhaps some places take some stuff away, perhaps in the bridge, add some toms in. Sky's the limit of it, really, what you want to do. Really quickly, before we finish, I also want to show you down here. This works with any information. 
and this is velocity. So you could have a piano, you could have strings. You want to change the velocity because a drummer or a piano player, a guitarist, any instrumentalist will not hit everything exactly the same velocity each time, not the same amount of force into the hit. So this is where you can actually change your velocity. And again, this is a way of humanizing things. Another way of humanizing things is if you take off the snap tool, which we'll explain in more detail because this is getting more in depth here, I can actually drag this slightly off the beat because of course a drummer never hits everything exactly on the grid all of the time. You gotta think, they humanize it and we're used to hum hearing humanized sound. We're not, obviously there's EDM music and everything that's on the grid, but when you hear a rock track or something like that, we're used to human elements. So you may not want everything to be exactly, you're not gonna notice, you're not gonna say that's out of time because it's just slightly behind the beat, but it gives it a bit more of a groove. Okay, before we end, you know, remember we looked at reverb inserts and reverb sends? I left the send, when we made that send, you know, we went to, we added the track, we added an effects channel and we added it in. I just want to show you, if we F3 to get the mixer up, here's our drum. It's highlighted still because we got it playing. If we just scroll down to our sends, we've still got this set up and it's the very same instant of the reverb effects unit. So we're not making a new effects unit, it's the one we've used here on our guitars. So. The problem with that is I'm obviously adding reverb onto the whole channel. What we're gonna look at in later videos is how to group channels. So I'm gonna make a drum group and a guitar group. So I'm gonna send all of these to another channel where we can add effects. But with drums and things like this, it's called multiple out. So if you imagine we've got a kick drum, we've got a snare drum, we've got toms. I'm gonna to show you in Cubase how to make a channel for each one of those instruments, each one of the drums, and therefore, Snare's wicked, you know, to have reverb on, but perhaps you don't want such a wash of reverb on a kick. If we made a separate channel just for snare, we can make that quite wet and then keep the kick dry, quite dry, overheads, things like that. And then we'll make another, we're going to look at group channels and also something they call New York compression or um, a bus that we're going to add in um, compression and distortion and really distort just one channel so it's going to we're going to send everything it sounds very complicated at the moment but if we work this in stages it'll all become clear but so far we now know how to add drum samples in align the samples into the so they're in the right timing for cubase and now use groove agent to choose a drum kit choose a pattern copy it over across into the project use the midi drum editor up here to change the sounds and then velocity to change the volumes. And then if you want to experiment with your group, your, sorry, your sends on the reverbs. Okay, good luck.